back to the child of the 70s and 80s, they looked on the back of the package and it had collect them all, right? And that was their marketing gimmick. And it worked every time. You got to see the other things available in the line and you sought them out. So I was after a 1982 Snake Eyes, which was the most popular figure. And they, I searched all the pegs and I raffled through all the shelves. They didn't have one. And my grandmother says, I'll ask the man. And lo and behold, he reaches up to the top shelf, opens it up, and there's this magical snake eyes just glowing with like a beam of light on it. And uh, that was how I was able to get my favorite toy. So that's always a fresh memory. And uh, working here, that's one of the joys I get, whether it's an adult or a kid who asks me, do you have this? I'm, I'm looking for this, I saved up for this. I'm able to magically produce it and blow their minds. It's pretty great. I am Jonathan Stoneveld, proprietor and toy master of Smash Toy Chicago. We've been here going on season six, as I call it. So over five years now. So the special thing about running a toy store is that your, your products kind of sell themselves. I just stand back and watch people enjoy the toys. Uh, our community and our, of our customers uh, has grown over the years and evolved. And you get little kids that come with their allowance and they slide their change across the counter to blow their hard-earned uh, allowance on some toys. Um, you get older kids that come in looking for comics. Fortunate to be like a meeting place or a hub, like a social hub, which is great. So you got young people and older people Come here to discuss the latest episode of uh, a Star Wars show or a Marvel movie. It varies from ages, I say ages 8 to 80, but it's literally ages 8 to 80. Uh, are toys important? No, and that's kind of the point. They're not important, but it's purely about play and imagination and creativity, and those are all crucial to the human experience. And so these toys and comics are uh, an aspect of that. They're, a, they're just one component. They're a gateway to uh, that youthful feeling that you could have whether you're a little kid or an adult. So the idea that we never lose our sense of play or we never lose our sense of imagination, not to mention the appreciation for the design of it, the importance of it. We're not saving lives here, but we're igniting play and imagination.